the figures in the United States are uh, incredible. I mean, there are like 80,000 people any, at any time in solitary confinement in U.S. prisons. Uh, and it seems like it is used um, extensively and for different purposes. The main problem that I see in the United States is that uh, there are less and less safeguards uh, against its use and the, the extension uh, of time in which that people spend in solitary confinement seems to have no limits. A lot of people don't really know what solitary confinement is. Solitary confinement means spending, you know, 22 or 23 hours a day just looking at a wall. Solitary confinement really does inflict the pain and suffering uh, of a mental nature that is associated with the prohibition on torture and the prohibition on cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment. Both prohibitions being uh, absolute and uh, unqualified in international law under any circumstance. That's why I think it's important for the United States to allow monitoring 